A lot of people talking about this story today around town and on social media. Nearly 60 dogs rescued from a home in Mountain Home. But was this a case of hoarding or is the owner breeding those dogs? Our Shira Matsuzawa is here now and she's going to tell us what she found out today. Shira. Joe, at first glance, it appeared it could be both a case of both, but I spoke with the Mount Home Police Chief a short time ago, and it turns out the owner of those animals is not licensed to have them. Now, as of this afternoon, this post on the Idaho Humane Society had more than 1,000 comments, likes, and shares. The Boise Animal Shelter shared video of 55 Papillon dogs and three cats now in their possession. They say crews rescued the animals from a 700 square foot house in Mount Home that was in deplorable conditions. The post sparked a lot of interest about who owned the animals. Mount Home Police Chief Scott Connor says this all started when an officer was at the home of Kathleen Pamela Schweikert doing a welfare check for an unrelated matter. While the officer was there, he heard the dogs got a warrant and that's when he discovered all 58 animals. Police Chief Connor says Schweikart violated three city ordinances, which included not having an animal license, having more than three dogs in a residence, and not having a kennel license. She also violated the state statute felony and is being charged with 58 counts of animal cruelty. Mount Home Fire Chief Mark Moore told KTVB the fire department assisted police with the rescue. He says when they arrived on scene, the house was, quote, full of animal feces. We checked online and it appears Schweikart claims to own Katura's Papillons and is an award-winning Idaho breeder. I asked the police chief about this and he told me she is not legitimately licensed to have a business. So what, what happens to these animals now? Well, the Idaho Humane Society says right now they're in protective custody. It can take anywhere from a few weeks to a month for a hearing to determine if the animals will be returned to the owner or they may be forfeited to the Idaho Humane Society and put up for eventual adoption. Until then, the shelter is asking for donations to help them take care of those dogs and cats. Joe? Oh, interesting to know that, Shira. We'll be keeping an eye mm -hmm. on that story for sure. Thank you very much.